Welcome back to iTech On Demand. And in this video, we're going to learn how to use the Cite This For Me Chrome extension to do research. Welcome back students. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an amazing tech tool called Cite This For Me. It is a Chrome extension that's going to allow users to perform research. So you'll be able to properly cite your sources or references. So let's talk about how to download this Chrome extension and how to use it. The first thing you're going to do is search for the Chrome extension in your search bar. And of course, you're going to select the link, cite this for me. Now this is a website, but it is also a Chrome extension. And I highly recommend that you use the Chrome extension because as you know, Chrome extensions are going to be live at the top of your web page and it's going to be easily accessible for you when you're performing your research. Now I already have this Chrome extension installed, but if you do not have it installed, please make sure that you click the blue button that will say add to Chrome. When you do that, you're going to see the Chrome extension. It looks like this at the top. It will appear and that is what we will use when we're doing our research. So let's take a look at how to properly research and cite our sources. So if I'm a student and I am performing research, let's say this is the article that I'm using in my research and I want to cite this. So I would go to the Cite This For Me Chrome extension. I will click it. And you have an option of APA, MLA, Chicago, or Harvard. Now, most um, high school students will use MLA. So you want to make sure that is selected. And then you're going to see your citation. And at this point, all you have to do is copy the citation and paste it onto your document. So again, locate an article that you're going to be using in your research. Click on the Cite This For Me Chrome extension. Choose the citation format that you want and then select the citation and you're able to copy and paste it for your works cited page. So it's as simple as that. I hope this video helped. Thanks.